He's been reinventing his music since 1981, moving from synth pop to pioneering the industrial metal sound and is considered one of the great songwriter, musician and frontman to one of the iconic bands in metal, Ministry, the alien himself, Al Jorgensen. So how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm even better for speaking to you. I mean, you know, Psalm 69 is, uh, is on my rotation constantly. Uh, you're kind of uh, part of the echelons of metal music. And you're also bringing your 2024 North American tour to the theater at Virgin Hotels in Las Vegas on April 4th. How excited are you to return to Las Vegas and perform there? I love playing Vegas, um, first of all. Second of all, I can't wait to see the, the Virgin Casino. Uh, which I have not been in. So, uh, and third of all, it's next to last show. So we're pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, can't wait. Let's do it. I, mean, I wish you, it was today. I, I, I wish it was today as well. I mean, you, you mentioned to me before we started, uh, started rolling on this that you've been on the road for about five weeks now. What's, uh, what's one of the best things about being on the road and what's one of the worst things about being on the road for that kind of period of time? Well, one of the best things is that this tour has gone amazing. Um, one of the worst things is that we have to tour. <laughs> <laughs> Can't everyone just come over to your place and stand in your front room? Right. That would be the yeah. best thing. Just, well, you know, someday my goal is to like maybe get a residency in Vegas so we don't have to travel so much. The travel is the worst part. Right. Uh, we started out this tour, uh, I live in L.A., we started out uh, the tour in the Northwest Canada and the high that day was negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. That was the high. Wow. That's it was 28 funny. below. And then uh, it, it, it increased up to like, I think by the time we got out of Canada, it was above zero. Uh, and then down the East coast. And uh, that was uh, just rain, 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 rain. <laughs> finally got to Florida now we're back in the south and we're heading home towards LA and can't wait can't nice. wait I mean I'm looking forward to this Vegas show more than anything really. we are too yeah, we are too you may be tired just hearing through all the kind of weather you've been going through so one other thing I wanted to ask you how, how do you react to being considered a trailblazer in metal music how does that sit with you I, I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff I, I just ministry's always just done what it wanted to do uh you know, if, if, if it's blazing a trail or inspiring others, that's great. But we pretty much just keep our head down, roll up our sleeves, mind our own business and do our own stuff and, and do what pleases you. You can't please anyone else till you please yourself. Well, that's, that's the next interesting thing is because you just released your 16th studio album, Hoping for the Masses. What can fans expect, uh, if anything, off the album during your performances? And, and which of the songs, if you are playing them live, are you most excited to share with a live audience? Oh, that well, that's the other really good thing about this tour. And what's amazed me when I said the tour has been going amazing is that we open up with uh, seven, six, seven brand new songs that people have only had like two or three weeks access to. And everyone already knows all the words. Everyone's up front. It's uh, the, the entire tour has been uh, sold out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Uh, and then uh, about halfway through the set, after about seven songs, I reward everyone for their patience, and I, I call them doggy treats. <laughs> we'll give you all the treats from Psalm 69, and mine is a terrible thing to taste. And uh, so they get their doggy treats. They get plenty of that. Uh, we've even had a few squeaky dog uh, doggy treats. Uh, by Gary Newman comes up and does a song with us. Uh, he's was, been touring with us say, the whole time. I was going to say, Gary Newman, uh, that, that's incredible. You guys together on stage. Oh, we we're, we want to take this tour worldwide. We we love touring with each other. Um, I mean, at, at any given moment, uh, we wake up on the bus and there's a couple of his band members sleeping on our bus and we're missing a couple of band members and I'm sure they're on this bus, on, on Newman's bus. So uh, Sounds like uh, the we Brady call bunch. ourselves uh, the, the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good take. Al, uh, we're really excited to have you here in Vegas. I wish we had some more time to talk because honestly, I could speak to you for the next uh, 20, 30 minutes as long as, as long as that'd be okay with you. But thank you so much for joining us this morning on Morning Blend. For more information, guys, and to book tickets for ministry at the theater, check out the info on your screen. Remember, it's one night only.